hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today my name is kosi if you're coming across my video for the first time please subscribe so you get more notification when new video drops on today's video i'll be sharing with you guys on how to draft and cut a 180 degrees place so guys it doesn't sound like something you're interested to know please keep on watching and let's get into today's video So guys, to cut out your 180 degrees, so let's just assume that this is a fabric you get. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to fold it on a triangular shape like this. So from the edge of your fabric, go ahead and fold it on a triangular shape just like you see me doing. You get After folding, um, I'm going to go ahead and divide my waist circumference by 2. Let's just assume that my waist is 20 divided by 2 is 10 plus 1.5 inches allowed to give me 11.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 11.5 inches. I made my point there at both sides and I measured what I have from there to the place I made my point and I have like 14.5 I have 14 inches. So right here I'm marking that 14.5 inches. I'm just marking it in the form of a circle just like this get so after i was done doing this i'm going to just place my tape to measure it so i know what i have there as you can see i have exactly 11.5 inches you get so let's us assume that um we are making this for a gown what i'm going to do is to remove your half length i remove 15 inches for my half length and i'm going to mark the remaining length i have for the gown you get but if you're making it for a skirt you are not going to you know do much you are just going to have to place your tape you're going to say i'm going to do that so if you're making for a skirt you're going to place your tape remove two inches for your waistband and mark the length you have left for your skirt you get but i'll be just um explaining this for the gown part i'll just use that the gown part i don't know if you get what i'm saying you get so what i'm going to do right now assuming that this is the gown i removed half um 15 inches for the half length and right now I'm marking the remaining length i have plus one and a half inches for the scene allowance you get so right here i'm just making a point i'll go ahead and just mark it like this As you can see this is what i have after i was done so from there to the first line i have 14.5 inches from here to this second line i removed 15 inches for my half length and i marked the remaining length plus the sewing allowance you get so right now i'm going to go ahead and cut it off and i'll cut out the back pattern for the back pattern i already went ahead to fold it just like the first paper you get so right here i am placing it this way you get so because this is a back pattern it's going to have zipper right here i'm going to leave one inch space for the zipper allowance so i'll go ahead right now to mark it i'll go i'll just give a straight line using my ruler just like this then i'll place this one here like this after placing i'll go ahead and cut it off After cutting, I'll go ahead and label it as the front. I also label this the back you get. So right here, I'm going to label the zipper area the zip, just like you see me doing. Right here, I'm going to slash it by two, and I'll also go ahead and notch it just like this. Then after that, I will turn it the other side and I'll label it the back. And this is all for the drafting and cutting of 180 degrees flare. As you can see, it's very, very simple. It's very easy to make, you guys. So you go ahead and transfer it to your actual fabric and you start your sewing. So guys, this will be the end of today's tutorial. Please, if you love this video, please subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.